Thank you so much for joining me online and welcome to another episode of Kevin Talks Tech, my technology blog, technology podcast, where we take technology and just like we've always done, make it simple, easy, and fun to understand. That's the way it is and that's the way it's always going to be. And today we've got a very fun topic for you, so let's go ahead and get to it right now. As you know, the holiday season is this time of year right now, at the time we're filming this anyway, and TVs once again are front and center. Every year, whether it's Target, Best Buy, Walmart, even online retailers, TVs are always a big part of holiday sales. But there's something very different happening now, and that's the push towards 4K. You may have heard about this technology before, whether you have or you haven't, eventually you're going to. So let's go ahead right now and clear up some of your questions today so you're able to shop the market smart, whether that's going to be now or maybe sometime in the next few years. So first, what is 4K? Well, put very simply, it's a step up in picture quality from high definition. You're gonna be seeing images about four times sharper on a 4K TV when compared to a 1080p HD TV that you may have in your home right now, just like I do. This is a 1080p HD TV. So why do they call it 4K? All right, well, here's the easy answer. It's not totally simple, but your TV is essentially made up of several lines and pixels that span the screen. You know, 720, 1080 numbers that you often hear about, I mentioned them a little bit before, those resemble the number of lines that run the TV. For instance, this TV has 1,080 lines that span this way and 1,920 lines that span this way. The more lines you have on the TV, the better picture quality that you're going to have. And among those lines too, we have several pixels which are here on the TV that make up the picture. The more pixels you have, the better image quality you're going to have as well. Now, as I said before, there's 1,080 lines running on this TV, 1920 going this way. So that brings us back now to 4K. Where exactly do they come up with the name 4K? Well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. It is a little bit tricky, as I said, but it's going to make sense soon, I do promise. A 4K TV has 3,840 lines running this way and 2,160 lines running that way. The name 4K comes from the 3,840 lines that are running this way on the TV. The K stands for 1,000 and 3840, well, they pretty much think that that's close enough to 4,000. I don't know where the other 160 go. So, you know, it's really kind of a, a stupid name when you think about it because one, it doesn't follow the traditional pattern that high definition does where we were naming the, uh, I guess, the technology off of the lines that were running this way on the TV. Rather, we're naming it after the 3,840 that go this way on the TV. I guess really when you think about it, 4K should be called HD 2160 if we're talking about these lines, but what's more marketable? 4K or HD 2160. Pretty sure that I'm gonna go ahead and buy a TV that would be called 4K before HD 2160. Now, a couple other points to mention about 4K as well. You're gonna hear it referred to as ultra high definition sometimes, or UHD. If you mention that, if somebody mentions that to you in the store that this is a 4K TV with UHD built into it, those terms mean the same thing. They can be used interchangeably, so don't be fooled by that. Now, whether or not you should get one of these TVs, that's probably your big question because as I said, you're gonna be hearing about them a lot. The problem right now is content. There really isn't a whole lot of it. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you still have DVD discs being sold in stores at standard resolution. Tech Radar put it best when they referred to this being a chicken and an egg problem. Have you heard about that analogy, that story before? Essentially what you have right now is content providers don't wanna develop a whole bunch of 4K movies and TV shows because there aren't a lot of people with 4K TVs. Meanwhile, 4K TVs are tougher to sell because there isn't content available. You can watch high definition on it, but then why not just run out and buy an HD TV? I mean, these things are pretty cheap right now. They've gotten a lot cheaper anyway. Eventually, it's going to catch on. Right now, Netflix, Sony, and Amazon do have 4K streaming services or offer 4K videos anyway through some streaming services. I'm sure others are gonna follow suit. The big issues with delivery right now are one also when we're talking about streaming video, watching TV and movies over the internet, that bandwidth has to be able to stream the 4K content. Now these 4K files, they're much bigger than an HD movie or TV show and HD movies and TV shows are already big to begin with right now. So one, your internet connection has to be able to 
keep up with that consistent flow of information moving to the television set across your home network. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you definitely have a high speed connection to be able to do this. And right now we don't really have any 4K players that have become mainstream or 4K discs or any physical means for the 4K content to be delivered to a TV. I think back often to uh, Blu-ray, how it became pretty universal. You know, that took four, five, six years. I guess it might not really take that long for 4K to make its way into our market, perhaps. Now, as I mentioned before, your big question right now probably is whether you should buy a 4K TV. I don't have an exact answer for you, but I can help you make a decision, perhaps. I want you to think about a few questions. First, how long do you plan to have your TV? If you're thinking long term, like maybe five to 10 years, 4K probably is a good move for you. It's going to be well adopted by that point. Your TV is a long term investment, so that is a good option as opposed to if you're just thinking about a TV for maybe a few years. Now, how about size? I did talk to a manager at a big box retail store and they told me that they only sell 4K and TVs 46 inches and bigger at this time. So at the time I'm making this, that's my understanding is some stores are only selling these at 46 inches or bigger. So if you're looking for a smaller television set, like maybe this size right here, which is 19 inches, you're gonna wanna go ahead and definitely go HD. That's really your only option. My other question is how do you watch your content? If you watch your shows online through sites like Netflix, 4K is a good choice. As 4K content becomes available, so will 4K delivery options. So if you use Netflix, Hulu, as more 4K content moves onto those platforms, if you already have a 4K TV, you're gonna be ready. Whereas if you are getting uh, your content from discs, you're gonna have to wait until the 4K discs come around, the 4K players. So there's a bit of a waiting game with that too. A lot to consider here. Now I really do hope this helps. I'm, I'm trying my best to keep it very basic today just enough to whet your appetite so you can be 4K smart. Now, if you are interested in diving deeper, Tech Radar has done a great job with their 4K breakdown. I even learned quite a bit here when I browsed around, and there are some other articles I think you're gonna enjoy too. You can find all of that, plus a write-up of what I talked about in this video on kevintalkstech.com. That's a good review, a good way to look through all the, the written portions of it. And please don't forget as well, if you haven't already, check out my other site, youtube.com backslash Kevin Talks Tech. All the Kevin, Talk Tech, Kevin Talks Tech videos are on there. And while you're on YouTube, please don't forget to click the subscribe button so I can get your feedback a lot easier. I know who's watching the videos. I know who's engaged in them. That makes things a lot easier to create good content for. That'll do it for this episode of Kevin Talks Tech. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fantastic day.